Hello, this is Professor Say. Today, we'll be defining Le Chatelier's principle, that is, slips.2.2.3 of the acidic environment. To this point, in our study in chemistry, we have been apprehensive with chemical reactions that go into completion, that is, when all the reactants have been turned into products. For example, if one mole of magnesium was added to two moles of hydrochloric acid, all the reactants will have turned to products, hence the reaction having gone to completion. These types of reactions are irreversible or one-directional, as only magnesium and hydrochloric acid will react and the products magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas will not react backward. However, we need to understand that not all chemical reactions go into completion. Many are in fact reversible. They can go from left to right and vice versa. This reaction is represented using a two-directional arrow. Now, reversible reactions do not go into completion. Rather, they reach a point of stability, chemically known as equilibrium. When a reaction is at equilibrium, there is no longer any change in the reactants or products. The reaction has come to a complete stop. During an equilibrium reaction, not all reactants become products. There will be both products and reactants. A perfect example of a reversible reaction is carbon dioxide plus water. Carbon dioxide can react with water to form carbonic acid. Therefore, carbonic acid can be decomposed to form carbon dioxide and water again. At the point of equilibrium, no reaction is occurring, and there are species of carbon dioxide, water, and carbonic acid, all present. Now, what you need to understand is that the point of equilibrium is not fixed. It all depends on the conditions of the reaction. Hence, this, my friends, is the basis of Le Chatelier's principle. When a system is in equilibrium, the reactants and products will have constant concentrations. And if these conditions change, the system will no longer be in equilibrium. And so, Le Chatelier's principle states that if a chemical system at equilibrium is subjected to a change in conditions, the system will readjust itself to counteract that change. So basically, a system will always seek the point of equilibrium, and so a system will readjust itself to oppose the imposed change to return to a point of equilibrium. Now, my friend Professor Mohit will now identify factors which can affect the equilibrium in a reversible reaction. Professor Mohit? Thank you, Professor Safe. Factors which can shift the equilibrium in a reversible reaction are a change in concentration of the chemicals in either the products or reactants, a change in the pressure of the system depending on the number of gaseous moles, and a change in the temperature of the system depending on exothermic and endothermic reactions within the reversible reaction. An increase in the concentration on the left will cause the equilibrium to move to the right. If concentration of the right increases, then equilibrium will shift to the left. Hence, by adding one of the ingredients which makes the reaction, the equilibrium will act to shift in a direction such that the amount of added ingredient is reduced, reflecting Le Chatelier's principle. The first step in determining which way the equilibrium will shift if pressure is altered is to observe the number of gaseous moles in the product and reactants. For example, if the pressure is increased, the equilibrium will shift to reduce the pressure. That is, it will move to the side with the least number of moles to produce more of the reactant. And vice versa. However, if temperature increases, equilibrium will shift to oppose the change. With an increase in temperature, the equilibrium will shift to decrease the temperature, which is in the endothermic direction towards the reactants. However, for a decrease in temperature, the equilibrium will shift to increase the temperature, which is in the exothermic direction towards the products. Hence, the effect of these factors clearly reflects Le Chatelier's principle. As such, there are many other factors that can affect equilibrium, but these are the most common, 
Simply remember that the system will oppose any change, as stated by Le Chatelier's principle of chemical equilibrium. Thus, this highlights the definition of Le Chatelier's principle. Alongside, it relates to the factors which can affect the equilibrium in a reversible reaction. This is Professor Mohit. And this is Professor Safe. And, and thank, thank you. you.